Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly, also known as Shelly Tsunami. I whew, created this very blue look. What do you think? It's different for me, but I kind of like it. I use the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tale Little Briar Rose Palette. It, it is a full-size palette with 12 beautiful shades. I created three looks, one completely appropriate for work, one the less serious, more fun look, and then a what I would consider a date night look. Stick around to see how I made this and two other looks. I mentioned the part where I'm not a makeup artist, right? So I wasn't sure which one I was gonna go with today. I actually have recently received the Going Coconuts lip tints and palette in, and because they're so neutral, I was thinking that would be a challenge, just try to get three different looks in. And I received the Anna from the Disney Frozen collection, and this palette is gorgeous. So I really wanna do three looks with that because I've been playing around with it recently. However, I received the Briar Rose Storybook Collection um, palette. Some of them are, you know, kind of familiar. We've we've played with these colors before. They're very normal, but then I've got like cobalt blue here that's called the Prince. I've got a, I don't know if it's a foil or a shimmer called Castle. I've got this crystal blue shimmer called Fairies. I'm inspired, I kinda wanna do something. I think I wanna do three different looks with some of these colors that are in the same color family, but out of my comfort zone. Let's get started here. The first one we're gonna do is a work appropriate look. I've got mascara and eyeliner on. I just used a little bit of Physicians Formula Brown eyeliner, nothing fancy, and just kind of smudged it into my eyelash line a little bit. I also used the Essence Volume Stylist uh, mascara. I think I've used this before. It's just a quick, easy, in fact, I think this is kind of drying down a little bit too, so I might have to <laughs> replace it with something else. Anyway, that completes my work appropriate look using the Little Briar Rose Storybook Palette. I used a total of five colors. Woodland was almost non-existent. You know, it'd make a good set your primer shade. Uh, Spindle was a little bit light, but once I mixed it in with Grimm, I got a really nice actual good transition color. And then I used Talia, uh, kind of an all over the lid, just to sort of warm it up a little bit. I really liked the way the look turned out. We're gonna take this off and then come back with something a little bit more fun. Ready to go with look number two. I have my P. Louise base eyelid primer. I'm gonna zoom you guys in.
fun sort of weekend look. I used several colors in this palette. I used the color Woodland to set my primer. I used the color Briar Rose as my transition shade. And then I used color Kiss kind of all over my eyes a little bit. I went in with the color Beauty, which is this beautiful color right here. Love, love that color. I did a little bit of Grim in my outer corner and then I topped it Enchanted in the inner corner of my eyes. I actually like the way it looks. It's soft, it's not bright green, <laughs> it's not crazy. I like the way it turned out. What do you guys think? Look number two, I'm okay with it. Okay you guys, I am back to start my third and final look. I wanna use these blues, like that one. Ooh. Can we use bright blue eyeshadow? and not have it scream 70s. Let's try it. I also brought in some lip colors. I was gonna change it from this stuff on my last look and I completely forgot. Got so excited with how good the eyeshadow turned out, I forgot to change my lip color. Now that you're a nice distance away again. I gotta be honest, when I first started playing with these blues, that one right there washed out a little bit more than I expected it to. I figured I could probably build it up, but as everything was going very blue and frosty and started to lean more towards a 70s blue dynasty Joan Collins thing going on here, I decided to throw in this kind of a plum color called Grim. I actually really liked it. It made the ombre lean more towards a purple on the outside, that'll kind of smoke it out a little bit. I also drag it down underneath my eyes. I had a, where'd it go? I had a plum gel liner that I used on my, to tight line my water line. I think my husband would like this actually. It doesn't feel heavy. It looks bold, but I don't mind it. This is about the time I would normally take all this off because it doesn't really go with what I'm wearing. I might have to change what I'm wearing. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe. Please turn on notifications, ring the bell so you get notified when I upload. I am trying my hardest to get to a thousand. I don't, I won't make it by the end of the year, but it would be nice to make it within a year.